Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter, and today you'll learn vocabulary for anger, as well as a mistake you need to avoid that could be disastrous for your IELTS score. If you are just beginning your IELTS journey, check out our free quiz at allearsenglish.com slash myscore. It will give you your estimated band score, as well as a study guide and free resources at your level. This will save you so much time, as you won't have to sift through all the IELTS information online. Today's question comes from a personal coach writing class I recently taught with a Three Keys student. The task two topic was... Some people think that spoken communication is more powerful than written communication. To what extent do you agree or disagree? He had written an excellent opinion essay that verbal communication is superior, and his reasons were that you can express emotion more clearly and powerfully, and also that it is more efficient and saves time. While correcting his essay, I found a vocabulary mistake that also lowered his task response score. He wanted to write a supporting detail that anger is more effectively expressed verbally, but in an effort to use higher level vocabulary, he found the word madness as a synonym for anger. He wrote that madness can cause people to speak loudly and politely, which leaves listeners uh, with a negative impression. The problem is that natives don't use the word madness as a parallel for anger. We use it to mean insanity. An examiner would read this supporting detail and see it as unrelated to the reason provided, which would lower the task response score. So how can you avoid making a mistake like this? You may have heard us say this before, but do not use words that you find online or find on a thesaurus site without learning the context. So many words have very specific contexts and aren't direct parallels. When we teach vocabulary, we share the context and example sentences so that you can make sure you're using it correctly. One of the most common mistakes students make is trying to use high-level vocabulary to increase their score, but using it incorrectly so that their score actually goes down. Yes, you need high-level vocabulary, and yes, you need to avoid vocabulary repetition, but it is absolutely vital that you use all this high-level vocabulary in the correct context. Not only can your vocabulary score go down, but it can also lower your task response score in certain cases, like this student's essay. What words could this student have used instead? He was correct that anger is a common band six word. He could instead use parallels like fury or outrage, which are interchangeable and both mean anger. Fury and outrage can definitely cause people to speak loudly and impolitely. Vitriol is an excellent high-level word for anger and bitterness that is expressed through speech or writing. You could say, she spoke with such vitriol that I wanted to leave the room. A great idiom for being angry is to blow a gasket. I love this one. I use it all the time. This means someone is noticeably angry, probably yelling or stomping around. You could say, he was so angry that he blew a gasket. These phrases would be perfect if you are asked in part two to describe a time you were angry or a time you made someone else angry. Anger and frustration could also come up in part one and part three questions. And this vocabulary can also be useful for many different task two topics, including this student's about written versus spoken communication. Don't forget to get your estimated band score at allearsenglish.com slash my score. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.